Welcome to this video, uh, which is for beginner runners. If you want to know just a few exercises to do after you've done your run. So great exercises to do as a cool down. I'll go through three, um, which are in standing because it makes it a little bit um, easier to do after you've been running so you don't have to get down on the floor. And I'll add in a breathing exercise um, at the end just to, to go through as it's quite a good idea to get yourself used to um, diaphragm and belly breathing. My name's Claire. I'm a physiotherapist from PhysioFit Health. If you're interested in um, really getting a workout um, and great stretches to do for your legs, so um, something that will help you with your leg flexibility, uh, which will certainly in turn help you with your running, um, we have a deep squat challenge that you can sign up to. Um, it's eight weeks and um, each week you go through just the different joints um, and a number of different exercises that will target those different areas. So at the end of it, you can come out of it with your own um, little workout routine that will really help um, that deep squat, uh, which helps your leg flexibility, which will help your running. Um, so yeah, sign up uh, below. Um, all right, so um, you've uh, finished your, your, your run um, and you just wanna know a few stretches to do. The first one that you can do is um, in standing, uh, but I would get you crossing your legs over, one um, in front of the other. So my, my right leg is crossed in front of my left leg. Um, I will turn so you'll see a slightly different angle. Um, so you're up nice and tall and you've got your back against an imaginary wall. Um, and then as you're breathing out, you're going to tuck the chin in um, and you're going to roll yourself all the way down. Um, so you're trying to touch um, your toes um, when you get into this uh, position, which should get you a little bit of a stretch sensation down the back, um, back of those legs. So just see if you can get that stretch. Um, and then you can roll yourself all the way back up um, and then start the roll down again, breathing out, uh, rolling yourself down. So I would get you doing just five or six or so of these ones. Um, and then you'd obviously uncross those legs and then cross them over the other way um, so you can target the other leg. Um, so you go with your breathing. Um, so it's just within your own breathing pattern. Breathing out as you reach for your toes and then breathing in as you stand upright. The second stretch for you to try will target the front of the hips, which can get, get quite tight. Um, you can do this in a um, step standing position. So right foot's in front of the left. Um, hips, you're just trying to get these hips forward. So you've got imaginary uh, lights on these hips. Make sure they're facing forwards rather than um, rotating them uh, to the left. Uh, tuck the tailbone in um, underneath if you're able to. So you're trying to really flatten that low back. Push um, these hips forwards. Um, you can even bend that right knee. Um, and ultimately you're looking for a stretch at the front of the left hip. Um, so a couple of little tweaks if you don't quite get it. Um, you can walk uh, that foot forwards, the right foot forwards a little bit more. Um, and just make sure you are nice and upright rather than leaning uh, too far forwards. Um, but as long as you've got that stretch sensation front of the hip, um, then all's good. You're going to hold it there for your 20 seconds or so. And then obviously you're going to swap over to the other side. The third one to try um, is going to challenge your balance. So feel free to have something to hold on to. So whether it's a, a wall or something, just for a little bit of extra stability. Um, this one is going to target the back, uh, the muscles at the back of the hips, so, so the glutes. Um, so you're up nice and tall. Um, you're going to put your left foot in front of your right foot. So um, the left knees out to the side. Uh, now this is the point where some people do find the balance a little bit of a challenge. So definitely hold on because um, we're not trying to challenge balance. We're just trying to get the muscle stretching. Um, and then what you're going to do is bend your right knee and lower yourself down. So you're looking um, for a stretch on that left hip. Um, at the back of the hips or around the, the glutes. Um, and once you've got it, um, you're going to hold it there for your 20 seconds. Um, so I'll just turn so you could see um, a slightly different angle. So as if you're sitting down, um, but that foot's on, on the knee. Um, so uh, yeah, 20 second hold, and then you can ease off and then obviously go onto the other side. 
So I mentioned at the beginning about breathing, um, which isn't necessarily a cool down exercise, but it's certainly something you can incorporate within that cool down, um, just so that you know you're kind of uh, keeping on practicing um, the belly breathing. Um, so when you've been running, you might find if it's been a little bit of a challenging run that you actually start using your shoulders to do some of your breathing. Um, you might be kind of breathing in, kind of like lifting shoulders up and down. Um, now, ultimately, what you want to be doing is retraining the body so it's using the diaphragm rather than using these um, muscles at the top. Um, so something um, easy that you can do is place one hand um, on the top of your chest um, and one hand on the belly. Um, and then you can take a really nice big deep breath in. Um, and what you're looking for um, is for the hand that's on the belly um, to be moving out. Um, so kind of raising up as you're breathing in. And then breathing out, um, that's just gonna relax. Um, if you find um, the hand that's on the chest, if you find that it's kind of, um, you're getting a lot of movement um, at the, the top part, um, it's just uh, then your opportunity to um, really try and keep that nice and still um, and see if you can do four or five lovely big deep breaths, um, but um, just getting uh, the diaphragm and the, the belly to be moving. Um, so it's really quick and easy. Um, and like I say, not necessarily a cool down um, exercise, but I do think it's a really good idea to uh, focus on your breathing, um, just so that you can start retraining the diaphragm to actually do its job. Um, and it should make things uh, easier in the long run. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about the different exercises you can do when you're running, um, then sign up to our Pilates membership. Uh, we have a lot of recordings um, of running classes where we specifically target the back and the legs. We'll go through um, a lot of the exercises that are really good uh, for you runners. Um, um, and we've got even shorter classes, so five, ten minute um, kind of little exercises um, that you can do just as reminders as to what exercises are good to do. Um, it's really straightforward. The details are in the description below. Um, so yeah, come and join us. See you soon.